I, I've been told don't touch a bonding project, never go, never touch someone that bond. And there's a distinction that we need to make on that. If it is a bonded project where the account debtor has posted the bond, like the general contractor is doing a, a hospital or you know some public entity, that's a beautiful thing, as we talked about. Because there's a pot of money, there's an insurance company. Now you not only can you collect from the account debtor, you can get from an insurance company. The problem comes up when it is your client that has also posted a bond. And subcontractors do post bonds. Or if you're in that situation where a general contractor has asked you to factor their receivables. Remember, we talked about the food chain. It's typically owner, general contractor, sub. Sub is your client. And the account debtor is a general contractor. Occasionally, general contractors will want to have their invoices um, factored. They, they can't wait until the owner pays it, especially in a public trial, because it could take 90 or 120 days to earn the money to lay out. But on the public job, it's the GC. It is your client that is going to be posting the bond. That's the one to stay away from. Why? Because if everything goes to hell, you are then going to be fighting with a company with a billion dollars in assets as to who has priority. I'd make a pretty good argument that you do, um, but you, once we're into that fight, you, you lost. Because they got personal guarantees, they got security on the individual's assets. You, once, so bottom line, if your client has posted a bond, whatever level of the food chain they're in, stay away from them. Because if that's not even one I would say, go with your eyes open. That's like go in there and expect to get killed. So. What's the most effective way to do the research on the search or you have any bonds that are associated with the property? Well, again, if it's a, um, uh, one, there may be a notice of commencement recorded in the account. Ask your client for the notice of commencement. They should be able to get it to you. If they can't get it to you, that means they're not trying hard enough or they're playing with you. Okay? The worst comes to worst. Some of our clients do have problems getting the notice of commencement, uh, but sometimes it's not always reported. But if we know what the project is, we'll call the building department in the accountant and say, hey, you guys are doing road work, you guys are doing a, a school or a fire station. Uh, we need, um, you know, we want a copy of the bond. They're thrilled, or any owner is thrilled to give you the bond, because remember, the bond protects the property from a lien. So it's the owner's incentive to give you that bond and make sure no one's, you know, wrongfully files a lien. It's the GC that's in no rush to give you the bond. And again, if your client isn't going to aggressively help you get that bond, then that's something for you to be with. You can say, but it's not going to factor you. Because remember, if they're not helpful at the beginning trying to get you bond, God knows what he's going to do to you later on after everybody's getting screwed. This was the time to be nice to you. This is the time he wants your money. After he got your money, he's not sure what he's going to do to you then. Uh, so uh, that, that, that's the issue with bonds. Um, again, we talked about how uh, bonds, just like liens, you get reimbursed for attorney's fees. You're not worried about uncollectible uh, receivables, things like that. Um, we talked about you know just following the rules and being heavily involved in the process. So we said, why would anyone do this? Um, this is really a point. Conduct proper due diligence before and after, and we're going to talk about that. Get enforceable estoppel letters. Um, we're going to talk about that last. And I made a joke here, but someone told me people don't know you, and they may not find it funny. Just listen to everything your lawyer tells you to do. That would be my being kind of cute. Um, the truth is, I, I believe just the opposite. Don't do everything your lawyer tells you to do.